The spectre of another terrorist atrocity has stalked Britain since the 7-7 attacks in 2005. These men tried to do it again, but on an even bigger scale. Irfan Nasir was the ringleader, Irfan Khalid his deputy. Together with nine others, they planned to detonate up to eight rucksack bombs, each containing up to 10 kilos of homemade explosives. Well, these are a group of committed, passionate uh, extremists with a, with a real intention of, of causing as many deaths and maiming as many people as possible. Uh, there's no doubt that um, not only had they got that intention, but they'd also crucially got the capacity, uh, the technical know-how and the ability to, to carry out those intentions. And this was their HQ, a suburban bomb factory at a house in Britain's second city, Birmingham. Evidence presented at trial showed how Irfan Nasir and Irfan Khalid travelled from Birmingham to Pakistan's lawless borderlands in March 2009 for eight months and again in December 2010 for seven months where they recorded martyrdom videos and learnt how to build bombs. By 2009, Al-Qaeda training camps like this had been destroyed by drone attacks. Instead, the men trained behind closed doors in Miram Shah in Waziristan. By the return in the summer of 2011, West Midlands police and spies from MI5's headquarters in London were watching them, as the men pretended to fundraise for a Muslim charity to bankroll their plot. But then the plot started to unravel when 26-year-old law graduate Rahin Ahmed haplessly gambled with the cash on a currency trading website. He lost a quarter of the money. The men's phone calls were intercepted, their homes were bugged, so was their car. The men joked it didn't matter the vehicle's paperwork wasn't in order because they'd be dead soon. The men were going to use sports injury packs like this to build a homemade bomb. Covert surveillance at this house revealed the men planning to grind up the contents, heat it and then disguise the noise of a test explosion by drilling into the wall. This piece of paper contained the recipe for the bomb. The men tried to destroy the evidence, but neighbours started to notice unusual activity. One day I saw them bringing in about 40 boxes, 40 boxes, orange writing on the side. I'm, I'm not sure what was in it, but it was at that point that my partner said they're, they're, they're terrorists. By mid-September, police and security services felt the threat was too great. The men were experimenting with chemicals to make a homemade bomb. About to be stopped in Lake Road. Just before midnight on September the 18th, they followed this car with Ashik Ali, Irfan Khalid and Irfan Nasir inside. They stopped them on Lady Pool Road after months of watching and listening. The plot had finally been disrupted. Irfan Khalid described their plans as another 9-11, a date the men celebrated. A security source says they were just weeks or days from building a bomb. The target of the plot was never known, but surveillance teams heard the men talking about crowded places. If all eight rucksack bombs had gone off somewhere like this, the results would have been devastating. Dan Rivers, CNN, Birmingham.